then hey guys what's up it's me Priscilla. uh we did not draw peter parker from into the spider-verse now i really love the whole i know there's a bazillion different peter parkers but i really love the lazy peter parker so i thought it'd be cute to draw this poster art where he's holding a cup of coffee and it's just because that peter parker was kind of awesome and hilarious and he was still the spider-man we all love so let's go ahead and draw this Peter Parker, but it's still Spider-Man. <laughs> so we're just gonna lay out the rest of his body first. Just gonna lay everything out. So we're gonna start with his head. And then we don't really see his neck that much. We're just gonna bring it down this side and then bring down this side. And I'm gonna circle right here, bring it on here circle right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and create his chest and bring down this side of his chest. And then we're going to come to down here, go down here, bring out this leg area, and then we're going to bring out this leg area. And then naturally we'll go ahead and just bring down one foot area here. It's going to come down right here. And then we have this foot area that's going to come down right about here. So I'm just going to bring this out. This is also just a basic crouch pose for any Spider-Man. So if you don't want to draw the coffee cup, you don't have to in the end. All right. So then I'm going to bring down this shoulder first and this arm. So it's going to go out and we're going to go right back into his arm circle that we made and then I'm going to bring out this part of his forearm and I'm just going to make a box right now for his hand and then his coffee cup is right here. I'm going to make a circle, bring down this side, then bring down this side. And then we're gonna jump to this arm, bring out this arm, bring it out, circle down. And his arm's kind of along his chest. So we wanna make sure it's like along his chest, but then again, it's kind of its own separate thing. So it's going down. And then I'm gonna make his forearm going to the ground. And then his hand we're just going to make a block right now and his hand will be splayed out on the ground all right so let's jump in and give more details first thing we want to do is go ahead and make his face so we're gonna make that eye guideline he's looking straight at us so I'm gonna make that nose line even though we can't see spider-man's nose so I'm gonna bring down the side of this eye first and remember they're just sunflower seeds that's all they basically are come to the middle right here a little bit of difference in space go up bring it down touch that eye line make sure they're on the same eye line it's always the trickiest part when it comes to any kind of spider person that I'm drawing is the eyes and making them equal Give a little bit of space on each side of the head for him. And then we're gonna jump inside and give him the and mirror the exact same shape that we just made in our sunflowers. want to make his face just a little bit longer so bring down his chin this Peter Parker has a really long face so 
So this is all black right here. Is this is all black. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna round out his shoulder right here. And then I'm going to bring out, so this is like his shoulder muscle and then his, here's the start of his shoulder. So we round that out and then round out the bottom of his arm. And then we're gonna go underneath his arm and round off this part. Bring this part in like that, curve it inwards. You're gonna bring down his body going downwards. All right, then we're gonna jump over here and start straightening this up a little bit more. So this shoulder is a little bit more relaxed because it's going downwards. So we're gonna bring this one down, round out the muscle. Round out the top of his arm. I'm gonna actually erase a little bit of this. I'm gonna round off this part. I'm gonna round out his forearm. Start at the wrist, round this out too. So it's nice and flowing and going into his hand and his wrist. All right, so let's piece together a little bit what's going on. So I'm just gonna give him his chest line right here because essentially that's where a little bit of his chest muscles are gonna show. And then right here in the middle will be our Spider-Man symbol. So I'm gonna jump in the middle right I'm gonna say it's right here and I'm gonna make the top of the head of the spider first and I'm gonna bring down the body so it's pretty simple it looks like the shape of an eight And then the thing with the spider symbol is it goes one inside and then right across from it is another one. Match along the side, go out and up, out and up. Same thing over here, a little one goes down, another little one goes down. This one goes out, down, out and down. Make those legs a little thicker. So for the markings of his suit, before we start marking up his suit, I want to finish his arms and hands just so we can like get that whole section done. So I'm going to jump back to this forearm over here. So elbow out, curve in towards the wrist. This one's going to go on top still. Curve in. Thumb's gonna go this way, and then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna make a little indention right here for my coffee cup's handle. It's gonna go into my coffee cup. And then I'm gonna have one finger here, one finger here, another finger right here, and then another little handle to my coffee cup, going out from the coffee cup in between his fingers and the piggy's gonna go underneath the handle. All right, straightening out this coffee cup a little bit more, just rounding it off. All right, so let's get back to this arm over here and do his hand. 
So what, what's going on with his hand is one, the thumb is going to go all the way down to next to his foot. So his thumb's going to go out this way. And then his finger, his forefinger is going to go out. It gives a little bit of an indention that it's splaying outwards because it's on the ground. We just kind of splay them outwards. Big, thick fingers, because that's the way the character design for this movie is. So we just want to splay out those fingers as much as we can. Thumb still next to his foot. Now we're going to go back into his leg. So I'm going to go out underneath his forearm, bring out his knee, make it boxy. So I'm going to make this a little bit boxier and then curve it back in. And we're going to go straight down into his foot. So it's going to go out. I mean, it's going to go in and then we're slowly going to start, start to go out, bring out the foot, little indention of his boot, bring, go, bring it to the bottom, bring up the side of his foot, go in. And then we're we'll stop there for right now. Then I'm gonna jump back to his knee. So this is where his kneecap is. So I'm gonna jump in just a little bit, go out, and I'm gonna curve in. And I'm gonna go out and there. So these are his thighs, the beginning of his thighs. So his thigh is actually it's overlapping his boot. So that's <laughs> great. I love this Peter Parker. All right, so then I'm gonna bring out this leg. We're gonna go out. Box off his knee. Then it's gonna go straight in. And then we're going to bring out this boot. Make sure it would be nice to actually put everything on the same level. So we'll bring down the boot a little bit more. It's hiding behind his hand. Alright, and then I'm going to do the same thing, kneecap. Go inwards just a little bit and then bring down his thigh to match up to here. So I'm going to lightly draw through his arm and make his thigh a little bit thicker up here because he's a bigger dude. <laughs> All right. So that lays everything out a little bit more. Now let's lay out his costume a little bit more and map out his lines. So for the red part, let's start with this arm over here and mark off the red and the blue. So I'm gonna jump inside, curve in right here. So it's gonna go into his armpit, curve here, curve where his chest is. We're going to bring down this side, so it curves here, and then from his arm over here, it's right next to each other, so it's going to go out, curve down, and it's going to go off his chest, and then we see the blue on this side as well, so it's going to go in, and then mirror down. And then we have a red belt. Uh, it looks like a belt, but it's going into the red part of his, his costume. And then down here at the legs, I'm gonna curve, make the boots. Curve here too. All right, our favorite part. Let's go ahead and give him some webs. 
So in the middle we're going to make a little circle and then we have one line going into the circle and then two lines going down on each side. Now I'm going to make a line here and then a line here. And then same thing over here, we're going to have a line going this way and a line going this way. And a line up top of his eyes and right here. Now the webs go in on top. Leave that open. And then at the bottom of his face for his webs, they go upwards. So it's always easy to pick a direction first. So we're gonna do the lateral lines. So I'm gonna start from back here and you're gonna follow. We're just gonna bring down the lateral lines first. And you wanna give a little bit of curve to each one to make it look more realistic because it is following his muscles and the creases. So it's always easy if you ever draw Spider-Man, pick the lateral direction first and trace out where the actual lines are going before you go in and do the horizontal lines. Now the thing about his chest is they start to get a little bit broader and one line should be going straight through the spider. Then for his feet, we have a line right here at his boots. Same thing, I'm gonna go down. The thing about Spider-Man's webs design on his actual uniform is that as long as they look relatively right, you don't have to go exactly down to the T. The thing you just want to get on point with the webs is the direction of where they're going. So lateral is always the easiest. And then you always want to make sure that the lines are going upwards. So you're making like little itty bitty hills.
And there we go. There is how to draw the Peter Parker from Into the Spider-Verse. What's really cool about this whole entire thing is you can probably go like this. Like the actual movie poster. So it works out. Yay! Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on Peter Parker. And I hope you guys, if you haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse yet by Sony Animation, go see it. It's so good. I've already seen it twice. Yeah guys, have a most wonderful day. I also drew Miles and uh, Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen and Miles in his Spider-Man uh, costume, outfit, whatever it's called. Go ahead and take a look and I will see you all later. Bye!